Apple's been hard to beat since they've come out with their own processors. Now it's time to see how long the batteries last over time. With the latest 14-inch M2 MacBook Pros out last fall, we're finding that previous 14-inch MacBook Pros with the M1 chips are now hundreds of dollars cheaper on discount. With only slightly lower performance per configuration, this video might help you if you might be thinking of getting it, or two, wondering how Apple Silicon Mac's batteries last now, and three, if any performance changes because of that. See how it compares with your battery performance or purchasing needs. Let's find out. Today I'm sharing my updated experience since my last battery test in 2021. Link below. I've had this M1 MacBook Pro with base configurations since October of that year. Almost two years now. Now you can see how this battery's lasted in different scenarios since then, and how it's doing now. Give this a like if it helps, and subscribe for more. Also, when you help give this video 100 likes, I'll work on the regular M1 MacBook Pro from 2020, in case you're wondering how that battery's doing. First, update on the physical conditions that do affect the battery. The display's still working perfectly, still so bright you can use it outside, and easier to work with HDR videos using its mini LED screen. No problem on keyboards, ports, or any other hardware. The speakers are still really good. I actually watch a lot of content and play media on it. It's pretty amazing. You're probably wondering what the battery health is now. It is natural for the battery capacity to get smaller over time. The more it's used and exposed to certain temperatures. It went from 88% in March, which I'll show you later, down to now 86% in August. Right now, the cycle count is 157. My first test in February was for light, short use at a cafe with Wi-Fi. Starting work in public like this, or a co-working space, gets my productive mind going more, compared to working from home, or some people need a change of scenery. Tell me if you could somewhat relate to this. Alright, so this day was mainly on Safari, web browsing, watching YouTube, using Dolly 2, with about 13 tabs open between two windows. 4.46 p.m. We are at 73%. I also switched between apps like Notes, Email, Calendar, Pages, and of course Finder is always open. Didn't get to log it, but in that pace, I guess it would have taken less than 7 hours total. When it was new, light task days were 12 hours. March 1 was a full day of mainly writing and other low power demanding stuff, and it's all logged. 3.05 p.m. March 1, we are at 74%. So for the last few hours, I've been using notes, messages, uh, two browser tabs open, FaceTime for six minutes, and that's all so far. See how long it takes throughout the day. It's now 3.18 and we're at 70%. Three thirty-seven p.m. and we just started the FaceTime video. It's at sixty-six percent. Let's see how much it drains. All right, so I just finished FaceTime and it drained about six percent in fifteen minutes. And I had these open in the background, notes, music. Music wasn't really playing, so I guess I just left it on. I have a habit of doing that. Pretty sure I'm not the only one. Mail in the background, messages. Safari, Finder, Opera, which is also a browser like Safari. I did a tutorial for one hour, so I used QuickTime screen recording for an hour. That's what was open. Other than that, I've been working on different note projects all day, so, so different note windows were open on the Notes app. It is now 4.26 p.m. We are at 52%. Since there were several apps open in the background earlier, I wanted to see how much it will drain with just FaceTime for 15 minutes. So uh, I'm going to start a 15 minute call. A second 15 minute FaceTime call. These are what's left in the background. So it should be minimal. I'll go for 15 minutes or more. 15 minutes is up. 4.43 PM, we are at 46%. From 4.26 to 4.43, that's 17 minutes. 
it dropped 6% battery. And this time we just had notes and finder in the background on top of FaceTime. So yeah, that's that. So I've just been doing writing on notes. It's now 5.05 p.m. I'm gonna take a break and put it to sleep. Um, right now we're at 42%. So yeah, putting the computer to sleep. Break time. All right, it's 6.11 p.m. and it's been more than an hour. We're at 41%. That's one hour shut on sleep mode. I don't have the footage, but later that night, I stopped at 9.35 p.m. at 4%. So it lasted around eight hours total and drained 96%. Go ahead and share your battery health at the comments below. I think it'll help everybody kind of gauge where everyone's battery health percentage is these days and for how long you've used it. The next day I started at 3.02 in the afternoon. After one hour of a Zoom call, I did another hour of small tasks like notes, safari, pages, mail, and calendar. Then took a break somewhere for an hour and a half and continued. All right, so it's 10.18 p.m. We're at 22%. I'm calling it for the day. So that's a total of seven hours altogether. A couple breaks there on sleep mode. Hey guys, starting today at 12.10, and plugging now. I'll keep notes in the background to blog my activity while playing music. 23 minutes later, drained 1%. It's now 1.13 p.m. and we are at 89%. Hey, it's been two hours since we started at 12.10, so it is now 2.10 p.m. The settings we were at and it is now at 75%. Again, I would mainly play music and some music videos, then notes in the background, as well as Finder. A few minutes later, I started watching YouTube using Safari at 73% battery and volume at around 75%. It's 4.22 p.m., 40%. I gotta stop it now because I have a 4.30 appointment on Zoom, so we'll see how much it drains after that. 4.33, I'm about to start Zoom at 38%. Okay, just finished my Zoom meeting early. It's now 5.27 and we are at 21%. And so you guys see the brightness is still at 50% and volume maxed out. 30 minutes later, I've just been on Safari. It's 5.59 and we are at 15%. In those 30 minutes, I honestly just was on Safari looking at the new iPhone colors and the watch bands that I'll be reviewing next. Okay, I've been on Safari for about an hour now. I got the battery warning. We're at 10%, 628. For just Safari, it seems like it's only draining 5% every 30 minutes. So I'm going to see how long it takes for another 30 minutes. I'm going to guess it's going to be at 5% by 7 p.m. Let's see. It's a little over 30 minutes at 7 p.m. And we're at 5% as predicted. Time to plug it in. Back for more. Okay, I just need to do a script today. Uh, so I'm just writing in notes, a little safari, and why not check my email? It's March 8, 2023, battery health at 88%, maximum capacity. This one says 89% and then battery health app says 88%, so pretty close. Start unplugging at 100% for 19 p.m. Let's go. I'm going to try to use ChatGPT today to see if it will help me with my script. It's 9.51 p.m. and we are at 43%. I've mainly been online and on notes 50 percent brightness very surprising results but i did go and break for a little bit for 45 minutes and left the screensaver on so the animation probably drained it a little more 1101 we're at 29 percent i've just been doing some studio work and referencing notes i think i'm done for the day so i had plenty of battery left see you guys tomorrow hey guys i'm now unplugging 
It is 8.22, we're at 100%. And what I'm gonna do now with this M1 MacBook Pro is record my voice using Final Cut Pro while using my camera to record this Hermes video for Apple Watch. And after I'm done using this whole set, I'm gonna edit using MacBook Pro, but not before I import all the videos into the computer using an external drive. So let's see how long it lasts. It's now 11.13 p.m. and I'm at 75%. I've just been recording audio on Final Cut Pro. I was using notes for the script and a browser in the background, as well as Finder, of course. I also airdropped about 15 to 20 minutes of 4K video from this phone to the MacBook Pro. Next, I'll be using the same applications while editing on Final Cut Pro. Okay, I've been editing this whole time. And it's now 2.25 AM. We are at 13%, shutting down for the day. All right, I'm starting at 4.02 PM and we are at 100%. I'm gonna start unplugging it. So all it's attached to is my SSD. Brightness, third to last. It's been over an hour. We are now at 80%. So it drained 20%. Another hour has passed, we're now at 6.04 at 50%. 7.41, we got the warning, 10% too close to comfort. Basically three hours and 40 minutes got me to 10% uh, while editing a 4K video, uh, 60 frames per second. To drain it to zero would probably be four hours. I'm gonna go ahead and drain it to four or 5% and then see how long it takes to charge to 100% after that. Charging with MagSafe. First five minutes got me to 12%. Update 73% at 8.39. Looks like we reached 100% a little after nine. Basically charged in an hour and 20 minutes. I'd say that's not that bad. April 4, I edited on a plane and did some light tasks like notes, pages, and settings, um, but mainly on Final Cut Pro. It drained 80% in three hours. So that's one flight between LA and the Midwest. But it did make me wonder, does it drain 25% every hour? This is when I was editing a YouTube short without Wi-Fi at my gym's cafe. It was 6.02 p.m. when I started editing at 89%. Then I finished editing after 52 minutes where it drained 25%, so I was still left with a 64% battery. This is still pretty similar to when I edited on the plane at around more than 27% drain per hour. That's all. Hey, of course, starting at 100%. I feel like changing it up and working at a cafe. Um, so let's go. Six twenty-five. We're at sixty-two percent. All I did was edit on Final Cut Pro with notes in the background. Good morning. We're starting at one hundred percent at ten fifty-eight a.m. Today I'm doing both small tasks and editing with notes and pages, and maybe um, a Safari browser. I'll be moving the laptop from home to a cafe using Wi-Fi. I think this will help people like me using laptops that like changing the scene. So let's see how long the battery lasts here for a couple hours and then we'll go to a cafe to edit for maybe another hour or two. One twenty-four, ready to head out and we are at 87%. Two thirty-five. We're now at sixty-nine percent. Now, at the end of the day, I ended up at forty-one percent at three forty-nine p.m. 
So editing 1080p looks like it'll drain 12% per hour. One twenty p.m. We're at 29%. So it's been 4 hours and 20 minutes since I started at 9 a.m. At 29%, I'm going to go eat, take a break, and then come back. 216, 14%, 14 after 4 break on sleep. All right, two pulls for comfort at 3%, 2.46 a.m. Basically plugging it in now. Every project's different, but it seems like 4K doesn't last as long as 1080p editing. Now we can conclude that it seems like battery performance has changed. Charging takes the same amount, but it did lose hours of battery life, averaging around 12 hours use in 2021 to 8 hours today at a battery capacity of 86%. It depends on which application you're using, peripherals, and how. Which is why sometimes results can be all over the place, so it's good to average it out. So are you going to get the newer MacBooks or the older generations for less? Let us know in the comments below. I hope this helped. If so, give it a like and subscribe for more. In real life battery tests take a long time to make, so thanks for your support. And thanks for watching.